Good morning. How are you? Hope you're doing really well today. So we're going to talk about the Sabbath today. It's a really important thing, especially Old Testament. Like this was top, top, top. You got to do this. And it made a really, really big deal out of it. Uh, Jesus came and released that a little bit, gave us a little, a little bit of a break because he's trying to get us back to the heart of it. But let's go back here. This is Moses. He was originally new. Uh, God gave him this direction. He knew that this was a really important thing for the people of, people of Israel because um, they were used to working all the time and they needed to learn to take breaks. And so uh, here we go. It says in verse, well, there's lots of interesting things here. Let's just start, kind of step through it. Uh, Lord gave these instructions to Moses, tell the people of Israel, be careful to keep my Sabbath day. For the Sabbath is a sign of the covenant between me and you from generation to generation. It's given so that you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. You must keep the Sabbath day. For it is a holy day for you. It's for you. It's a gift. That's really where we get a little confusion there. We thought it was to be uh, for the Lord, but it's really for you. Anyone who desecrates it must be put to death. Okay, so it gets a little serious here. And this is where the Pharisees got off. They really focused on that one because, I mean, let's just be honest. If you're going to be focused on a line in this, that's, you're going to focus on that. So I'll give a little break to the Pharisees on here because they don't want to die. But you move on here down to verse 17 and say, we see here where we're going to stick today. This is a permanent sign of my covenant with my people of Israel. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but on the seventh day he stopped working and he was refreshed. We have to learn to rest. Many of the, the, the big companies that uh, get ahead, they, uh, people that do really well in life, they have this motto to do more with less. They want to streamline their businesses to cut expenses. However, this mindset can put us under a lot of strain. Um, and as employees, it can, it can burn us out, working endless hours and trying to, uh, and as owners, it can put us into this fast track, trying to get ahead of competition and it can lead to burnout. So uh, we have to be careful about this as believers, but as just people in general, rest is really important part of life, whether it's in school or our careers, we can't burn the candle at both ends. Otherwise, we'll just completely burn up and we'll have nowhere to go. God created us and knows what we need. He put rest into the equation because he knows sleep is a vital, a vital part of life and is a key ingredient to good health. But in our fast-paced age, taking any time off can feel like a sin. Uh, the world's workaholics spend countless hours trying to get work done, to seal deals, to meet deadlines. You see where I'm going with this? So we can get ahead of the competition. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to work hard with, with, uh, within a rhythm so that we can have time for healthy relationships with Him and with others. So each day, take a moment to stop and breathe. Ah, <sighs> Pray. It's so important to have that time each day. Be still before Him, and as we shut out the white noise around us, we start to hear His voice more clearly. It's so important. I remember whenever uh, I was given the task at a former job to soundproof a room, uh, they get, came in and gave us a gave us a bid. Listen, you can spend X amount of money, amount of money on really heavy doors and and soundproofing uh, panels and and insulation, and we can really, uh, you can get expensive, or we can install speakers with white noise. It'll bring the noise level up, and so you won't hear what's on the other side of the wall. They said you could also just turn a fan on, and that's probably the cheapest way to go. So I think that's what we tried. <laughs> $25 fan, it pretty much took care of the issue. But in life, we have the same thing. We have all this stuff that's just happening. It's Life is passing us by and it becomes white noise. There's just this busyness. It's this hum. And if, if you've ever been in like a, it happens all the time at churches because we've got sound equipment and it's not the highest end. It's nice, but it's not the highest end. And we we don't do everything right. And so there's ground hum and ground loop and stuff. And we have this hum sometimes. And sometimes it's in instruments and you can mute a channel and all of a sudden it gets super quiet in the room. It's like, what was that? Or when an AC kicks off, it's running, that's white noise. We have a white noise going on in our life. 
where there's something wrong and it's just this hum, it's always present and we forget about it. We don't even notice it anymore. Well, when you learn to turn that off and the noise level is decreased in the room and in your life, you can start to hear God whispering and speaking to you more clearly. That's what Sabbath can do for you, and it's really important. Don't get wrapped up in making this the most important part. The most important part is your heart, and Jesus is always pointing back to the heart, and so he wants to know you and and, and have a life with you and a relationship with you. But Sabbath and taking breaks and taking rest and enjoying rest can make that relationship so much better. So my challenge for you today and this week is to rest. Find some time to worship. Find some time to spend with other people that you have no task. Just be with them. Be present and rest up. You need it. Believe me, we all do. Have a wonderful day and rest up.